Welcome to Investor's Insights. Our topic today is market trick-or-treat. How appropriate, uh, considering that uh, Halloween is upon us, and this market with its volatility seems like it's got a lot of goblins and ghosts out there. Right Everybody down. agree with me? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, over the past few vlogs, we've talked about possible market corrections uh, due to the fact of midterm elections. Historically, uh, I think, Trey, you've talked about we've seen up to 18% correction. Is that correct? That's right. That's yeah. typical. Right. And so now the question becomes, uh, as we look at the consumer, as we look at investors, are they currently locked up because of midterm elections, or are there other factors that are starting to concern them? Mm -hmm. Bobby, in our meeting today, you talked about uh, what's going on with the dollar. Uh, I thought that was very important. Explain that to those that are, are watching here. Yeah, so as we're analyzing the market downturn, it's tariffs and politics, yes, but it's also the rising dollar that is putting a lot of pressure on corporations doing business overseas. Mm -hmm. And so um, the issue with the rising dollar is it makes doing business overseas more expensive. So it's making U.S. products more expensive, not as competitive as products coming from overseas. And so All as right. in the post earnings conference calls, the CEOs are saying the rising dollar is their biggest concern going forward because it's risen 2% just in the past month. And that's going to remain a headwind for U.S. corporations uh, going forward into next year. Yeah, we saw that in the GDP number that came out on Friday. We told everybody last week we were going to watch the, the third quarter GDP print, right. which came out on Friday because for multiple reasons. One, it's a good indicator of what's going on in the economy, but also political standpoint, we knew it's going to be a volleyball that one side was going to say things were great, one side was going to say things were terrible. And it did kind of give, it gave some data for both sides to talk about trick or treat. It was full of tricks and treats, I think. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, you know, the, the net exports hit GDP to the tune of negative 1.8%. Uh, GDP grew at three and a half percent, so negative one point eight was a big hit to that. That's right. That's a pretty big drag. In addition, one of the things we saw that was disappointing. So three point five was great. It's it's better than we've had in years on average, and it's better than expectations. But under underneath the the hood, uh, there are some negatives. One of them was net business investment, which is companies investing in their workers. So right. for example, if you're at work and you've got a new computer system, you know, you were you were working on, you know, maybe Windows 95 or something like that. If you get boosted up to a brand new computer system, you probably could work a little faster. Right. And so companies were investing heavily to the tune of uh, of 11% plus in the first half of the year in capital expenditures that makes their employees more productive and that helps the economy continue to grow. Well, that moved, that didn't that grew at just 0.8% in the third quarter. Now that may be revised but if companies aren't investing in their workers, maybe they're concerned about a strong dollar or something's up. Right, you know, and interest rate increases. Right, make things more expensive to buy. Capital. Exactly. Great point. Yeah, so, you know, we're kind of seeing our companies starting to get concerned. Are they, are they pause? Is this a pause or is this a stop? Right. And, so, and, and let me say this. In, in the general media, they're talking about, you know, tariffs. Mm -hmm. They're talking about politics and midterm elections. Mm -hmm. They're mentioning increase in interest rates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But some of these factors are behind the scenes. That's right. That's you right. know, that we need to be aware of. And then Adam, you tied into that in yeah. terms of the consumer. I mean, uh, you know, what, in 60 days here, we're going to be in 2019. That's right. Really and soon. yeah, very soon. And so also from the standpoint, we've got the holidays coming up. Talk about the consumer. Yeah, with the holidays coming up, you know, one thing we like to look at is consumer trends. Mm -hmm. um, personal income came out this this morning, uh, it was at 0.2% that it raised up. Uh, they expected about 04 So that's about half of it. Um, that's the smallest gain since June of last year. Okay. The reason that's important, you know, with the holidays coming up, is you're seeing people may not be saving as much. The personal savings rate came down 6.2% as well. Um, so if we see that, you know, we see earnings, corporate earnings affected. Um, you're seeing wages go down and everything tied to that. Right. So, so I mean, people make money, they either save it or spend it. And so, Correct. So if they're making less, then they have less to save and spend. So savings coming down and with, yeah, like the holidays you said coming yeah. up, a lot of that's going to go to spending. That goes to companies' bottom line. That goes to help the market and earnings. And, we, and you know, we right. want to we want to see a really strong end of the year. And to do that, we need a strong consumer. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, and, and when you say savings, that savings not just putting it in an interest-bearing exactly. account. It can also mm -hmm. be into yeah. into the markets. It can be mm -hmm. in their four hundred one k at work right. that's invested in the markets. People save, they invest. That boosts prices. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So uh, so on that note, uh, there's a lot of details that we're watching. Uh, you can tell by this conversation 
We're going to keep you updated as we finish up October and go into November. Uh, we thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to watch this vlog on your, your phone, your laptop, uh, at your home and office. We also really appreciate the way you've been sharing it with others and the response that we have gotten. Those introductions we greatly appreciate. We hope this is beneficial to you. Uh, you get information you can use not only throughout the week, but as it relates to your portfolio. We hope you have a great week, a happy Halloween, and we look forward to bringing you more news. Thanks. <music>